Yo, what's going on, everybody? Slay South from MadinDilly.com, and this is Madden Tip Tuesday. In this tip, we're going to be breaking down a money play from the Gun Bunch Week formation. The play is called Corner Strike. The way that we're going to set up this play, it's going to work against every single defense in the game. Man, cover two, cover three, cover four. It's very easy to use, and it's a great complement to one of the best plays in the game. Verticals from this set, I'm going to show you that right now in this video. Enjoy. This play is found in many playbooks, so make sure you check your playbook to see if you have this play. We are personally using this in the Green Bay Packers playbook because we just broke down a Green Bay Packers scheme on our website for premium members. You can check that out, a very unique scheme. We wanted to add to the scheme, though, with some plays that are in other playbooks as well, and that's why we're going and breaking down this corner strike play. Very simple. All we're going to do is fade A or X on PS4, and then we're going to motion the corner route which is the outside right receiver, a few steps to the right, and we're going to hike the ball. Okay, you could also slide protect your cover, uh, your offensive line a certain way depending on where you think the blitz is going since we're sending all five routes on the field. So we motion him to about the numbers, and we're going to throw to B right when he's about to cut to the right. This, you could tell, is man coverage because the defender follows him as we motion. He also tries to mirror his route, but he's never going to make a play on this ball. He's always going to be to the left of us, and we're going to throw it right as he's about to cut. You see that he gets huge separation on his guy. This is a motion and route that we that we have used several times this year in different plays. We're just adding it into the gun bunch play. The reason why we like this is because we also have a flood to the right. So this motion is going to work against zone because we have a flat and a fade on that side. As far as man, this is going to work against a press defense and a off coverage defense. It also doesn't really matter who the defender is. Here we have Josh Norman and we're beating him every time. Um, as far as the left side, we have the running back on a table route. Lacey isn't the fastest running back. He also doesn't have amazing route running. Um, we're going against the Panthers, who have good linebackers. So right now, this isn't getting open. That's not our primary read, but sometimes that will get open in man, especially if you have like a legendary back. Um, if you have the mismatch, that running back can get open. But what we want to look for on the left side is actually the C route to the left receiver. That's going to get open against man every single time. He's going to go to the inside, up. And right as he's about to break to the left, we're going to throw a bullet pass left. So we have the corner route on the right that needs to pretty much be manually guarded or a zone um, in that area. And the C route that needs to also be either manually guarded or an extra zone in that area. So we kind of need, and we're forcing our opponent to throw a flat or purple zone on each side to guard these routes. And that specific adjustment isn't going to stop a play like Seattle or verticals. So that's why we like to use those two plays in combination. Uh, now we just went to a... Cover two zone, you see that we did the same motion with the corner route. He got open because the corner back that's in a flat zone is going to dip to the flat zone, or the flat route, I'm sorry. And then the deep blue safety is going to follow the fade, leaving the corner route open. And we threw a pass there and we held A or X for the possession catch. Um, and then on the left side, we have the C route that's going to get open because the running back's hitting the flats. The cornerback on the left is going to bite down on the running back, leaving the C route open. This is against cover two zone. Now, if the cornerback kept uh, going back to play the C route, then it would be an easy read to the running back. Um, and that's what's going to happen in a cover three and cover four zone, as I'm going to show you. Um, let's actually switch to cover three zone here. We'll look at the right side. We're going to do the same exact motion, same exact setup, fading A, slide protecting if need be. We're motioning B or circle to the right to about the numbers, and he's getting open again against zone this time cover three now if the flat zone say they played over the top coverage or say that was a purple zone instead of a flat zone then the flat route to the tight end would be open one of those guys are going to be open in zone more than likely it's going to be the corner route unless they make some specific adjustments um, now looking at the left side against a cover three you see that the running back is open uh, more than likely the c route won't be open against a cover three because the flat zone will play back on the c route leaving the running back open as he cuts on the table route if the running back's open, more than likely, again, as I said, that means the C route should be open, especially against a cover two zone. The C route can be open against a cover three if you put A on a fade like you were, but now motion him to the left, and now you're creating a flood to the left side. You have the flat C route fade, and that's going to leave the C route open. So if you want the C route to get open against any coverage, you have to motion someone from right to left on a fade. If not, you're flooding the right side. Um, here, just to show you against a cover four, we're doing the same exact thing, and again, the corner route is getting open as he breaks for a nice first down. 
I wouldn't say this is a play you could run all game, but it does force your opponent to respect the sidelines. And if they're going to play man, they need to get some purple zones also to the sidelines. They might put both safeties in purples. Then you could attack them deep with the play verticals. You could also run the ball and run the play action PA post. Uh, Green Bay's playbook has all three as quick audibles, which is good. So you could come out in the corner strike. They also have a screen, a slip screen to the left and a cross screen to the right. Uh, Green Bay definitely has one of the better bunches in the game. Um, I actually used Green Bay in the Draft Champions tournament this past weekend that I actually won. I didn't win, but I advanced to play in California for 50000 That's going to be real exciting. Um, I can't wait for it. I'm looking forward to it. I actually think I have a real shot at winning. Um, I'll keep you guys informed on that. I'm sure you guys already knew about this if you follow us on Twitter. Um, if you want to see the exact scheme that I ran this weekend with Green Bay's book, I ran single back tight flex, um, some of this gun bunch. I also ran the gun double flex wing. All of that is broken down actually on our website. We just broke that down this weekend. You could check that out on our premium membership. The link to that is in the description below. Some very nice, unique stuff if you're tired of running the same old offense. This is definitely a nice, unique offense, and it's something that we ran in Madden 13, and we're bringing it back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Listen, guys, if we get 500 likes, I know I'm asking for a lot, but 500 likes, I'll post another tip for Madden Tip Thursday this week. So like this video if you enjoyed. Like this video if you want another tip this week. I know you guys don't really know me too much if you're new to the channel because I only post weekly and I post tips. But I hope you guys are supporting. Team Madden Daily is going to represent this Draft Champions Tournament. I really feel like I could take it down. Make sure you guys tune in for that. Tournament's on the 22nd. And until next time, it's Lights from MaddenDaily.com. Later.